Hello team. Welcome to day one of performance testing training and live project. So let's see what agenda for today is. Team, before proceeding uh, further, I uh, just wanted to tell you if any one of you has any questions, we will take at the end of the session so that uh, we will be able to answer all your queries, okay, properly. So, let's see what today's agenda is. Okay, so today we will go through what to expect at the end of this particular training the performance testing training and the live project okay who is this training for who can attain this training uh, what are the prerequisites and what topics will be covered in the entire course and the live project so this will be seen in today's session so let's start with the first slide. What to expect at the end of this particular program, training and the life project? We, uh, you will get hands-on on performance testing. You will be able to have a practical approach of how we proceed when a performance testing project comes in. So in that you will get a hands-on exposure to performance testing. Then understand the mechanics of applying effective load and performance testing. Uh, there are different types of performance testing. So we will see uh, during the training how do we identify each of the performance testing type and then apply to the properly to that particular application. Okay. Next is be aware of different load and performance testing tools and be able to justify and choose the appropriate tool for the job. So we will be going just uh, to a list of tools that are used for performance testing, load and performance testing. Okay. So we would be identifying the tools that we are using for the training and the live project. So how do we identify the tool? We would see that in the training ahead. Understand the skills and experience needed for load and performance testing. So here we will see what expertise and the skills are needed by an individual to do load and performance testing of a particular application. Be able to develop and implement their own load and performance test plan and be confident in its success. Uh, team, uh, there are different phase of performance testing that we are going to see when we start with the training uh, but in that uh, like there is a requirement gathering phase test planning phase so we will see how do we prepare those requirement gathering templates as well as the test plan so in the live project you would be able to prepare all these documents on your own and it would be a real hands-on experience.
So totally you would be doing all the things once we are done with the training and we start with the live project. Okay. So you would be able to understand how to work in a real life world for performance testing project. And next, understand the documentation and the process. How to interact with the team, overcoming challenges and issues. A uh, team for any type of like testing, we definitely require documentation and need to follow some processes. Okay, uh, we work as a team, so during the project, uh, we also should know how do we interact with the different teams and get the information required for the project. And any issues or the challenges that come in, we should see how do we overcome that particular challenges or the issue for the performance testing project. So all the things like you will be able to gain and an experience at the end of this training and the live project. Uh, team, uh, whatever queries you have, we will take at the end of the uh, session. Okay. So we will proceed to the next slide. Who is this training for? So in this we will just be knowing who can attain this training. So first of all we will go through a list of them. Quality assurance engineers. Manual and automation tester. So those who want to uh, like upgrade uh, their skills from manual and automation can also uh, go for like uh, suitable this training. Then performance engineer who are just deployed to the project and want to have uh, experience on the live project as well as the training. Then load and performance tester. Technic, even technical leads and managers this training is suitable for and anyone who is required to perform is involved in implementing or manages load and performance testing. So see, here you, is a list of those who can like this training is designed for. Okay. So anyone of this particular field can go for this particular training and the live project. Or anyone who is new and want to learn performance testing can also go for this training. Team, we will move to the next slide. Now, we will just see what are the prerequisites for attending this training. Uh, attendees don't require any detailed knowledge of anything. They just need to be aware of some basic knowledge of software testing principles. That's it. Like if they are not aware of performance testing basics also, it is very Fine. They would be learning all the things in the training and the live project. So the prerequisites here, like you just need to have the basic knowledge of software testing principles. Like what is software testing, how it is done and all. That's it. Other is no extra knowledge or no extra information is required for this particular training. We will move to the next slide, team. Okay? 
Now what will be covered? This is very important. Like what would be covered during the entire training? We will go through performance testing and production. Uh, we would be taking two tools in the training, load runner and chain meter. So we would be seeing the topics that would be covered for load runner and chain meter. Okay. So load runner introduction, uh, different components of load runner, VU gen, controller, analysis, and then at the end we will do the live start check. Okay. Now we will just go through the list of topics that we are going to cover for this particular tool, load runner tool. Okay. So here we will just browse to the detailed topics. Okay, performance testing introduction. Here we will see what is performance testing. Then there are different types of performance testing. Uh, why performance testing is necessary? How do we actually do performance testing? Then object use of performance testing. So all the things will be covered in performance testing introduction. Then next is load runner introduction. Here we will see load runner overview. Then different uh, like the components of load runner. What is the significance or importance of each of this component? Where do we actually need to install those components? Would, I would be providing you the link for load runner installation so that you will also practice the application on your system. So in this we would see this particular thing load runner introduction different components. Next we would see each individual component of load runner. Uh, view gen. We would be seeing these two protocols, web HTTP, HTML, and web services. So for both these protocols, we will see how do we actually work with view gen. Then we would see view gen overview. Uh, team view gen is also called as virtual user generator. Okay, so. We, the full form of ViewGen is Virtual User Generator. So we would be seeing the overview of ViewGen or Virtual User Generator. Then how we actually start with the scripting. So we would see the recording, then there are different script sections. How do we regenerate a particular script? Then how do we replay and debug our script? Then there are different important concepts in scripting, like transaction, think time, then parameterization, correlation, how do we actually put a comment, how do we insert a transaction. So all these things would be covered in detail for both these protocols, web HTTP and web services protocol. Then in correlation there are different types of correlation. So in detail that we would be covering in the training part. So all those things would be covered in detail. For virtual user generator or VU gen component that is mainly used for scripting. So I will just like open the notepad and would we'll just mention the component and its function. Okay. Now first is here view gen or virtual user generator. Okay. 
So this is used for scripting. Next is the controller component. So here like once we are done with scripting of a business process. So we will go to the controller component. Okay. So controller is mainly used for planning load test scenario. Uh, during uh, like in the requirement gathering phase we have already identified which particular which type of performance test we are going to perform. So in controller we will design that performance test type. Okay. So here we will see different scenarios are there and what is the significance of those scenario and how do we actually design those scenarios. Okay. Then what is load generator, what is load balancing. All those concepts would be covered in the controller component. So you can say here like controller. I will just mention it here. So a moment to open the notepad. Is designing and managing of the scenarios. Scenarios here means the scripts that we create through we use gen. Okay. So that we would be seeing in the controller component. Next is the analysis component. So uh, you have created your script, you have executed your script, but now you want the result. So how do you get that? So this we do through the analysis component. So we would see the analysis overview, then different analysis graph. Uh, different options of the graphs like how do we merge graphs or how do we put some filter options, sorting options and the, we would see important graphs and understand how to interpret those graphs. So this is regarding the analysis component just mention it here. Analyze the results and prepare the report. So here we would see how do we prepare HTML and the Word report. Okay. And what important things we should put it in our results to give it to the client. So that it is useful for the client to refer to the results. Okay of that particular application. So this is regarding load runner topic. Now we would see the next slide and we would see the JMeter topics. Okay. Now what will be covered in JMeter? So, these are the two tools that we are going to cover for the performance testing training. In that we will see JMeter introduction, building a test plan. Then there are different elements of a test plan. Building a web test plan and also web service as I have mentioned. And we will see some advanced topic in JMeter. So what is test plan, uh, how, what are the different elements of test plan that we would be seeing during the training and project. Okay, okay. so now we will go through the topics of JMeter. Okay. So 
So here also, like as we have already gone through the performance testing introduction in low zone, we would not be taking this. We would start with requirements. How do we install JMeter? Like what are different elements of JMeter to build a script? So that we would be seeing in getting started. How to use a proxy server for recording and all. So there are different ways in both the tools for creating the script and we would be seeing these two ways. Then how build a test plan. So here the script is called a test plan. So don't get confused like what is test plan. Just a term used in different tools. Okay. The same term. So here test plan I just mentioned here. Test plan is a script. Okay. Here you can see JMeter script. Not load you know, any. So here in JMeter script, it's a business process or the test case you can say. Okay. Now we would in building the test plan or a script, we would be seeing how do we add elements. Uh, how do we remove that loading and saving of elements then con how to configure those elements and how do we run a test plan or a test script okay next we would see elements of a test plan so here we would be taking up the important elements of the test plan thread groups controller controllers listeners, timers, assertions, all these things in the elements of the test plan. And once we are done with like uh, building the basic script and uh, going through the elements of test plan, we would see how actually build the web test plan and web service, okay, through JMeter. So here, how do we add some, optimize the JMeter script, how do we add users, how do we capture the IDs, session IDs and all those things. So the same concept but in a different way in both the tools. So you will be able to know how both the tools, we actually optimize the script. And in advance we will take a how to build a, actually a database test plan to do a database testing. Okay, so basic of that, like how we actually proceed with it. So team, this is regarding the JMeter topics. So all the things would be covered in detail during the training part. Okay, and we will move to the next slide screen. Now we will take up the questions. If anyone of you is having any questions, we will take up that and answer your query. So I will just go through list of questions. Team, let me know if you have any queries right now so I can answer all your queries so that you would be clear. Uh, are we going to present test plan today? Uh, no. Uh, this is uh, just uh, the session like to introduce what we are going to cover and um, like basic about prerequisites, who can attend this training and all. Uh, test plan would be covered when we actually start with the training part and then in the project you would be uh, creating the test plan. Who are the members of my team? 
uh, here right now we are not dividing into anything uh, once we are done with the training part for the project we would be dividing uh, this into teams okay what is the straight link to load one of project right now there is no link once we are like totally done with the training then I would be providing you uh, the link for the like which application we are going to take and all. What date of screening test? What languages to study? What videos to watch? Uh, right now you don't need to worry about all these things. First of all, we will go, as I said earlier, we will go through the training and then uh, we, when we start with the project, then we would see that particular thing. Can you please tell concrete names of videos or the topics to watch and view exact link for this? The same, uh, I already answered that. Is it going to be load runner test plan and JMeter test plan? Is it going to be a live project using two, two sets of test case, two sets of test scripts? two sets of log reports? Uh, no, only one set of test plan and whatever documents are required, they would be same for the tools. Just uh, we would be seeing uh, in the live project how do we go about different tools, okay? Uh, can you please provide exact links to download fresh version of both the tools of load runner and Jmeter? Yeah, that I would be providing when we start with the training part. That I would be doing. How long this training go? See, uh, first of all, uh, this is performance testing training plus the live project. So, it would go for like 25 to 30 days. So that you will be able to understand like how actually the things work in performance testing and all the basic concept and detailed concepts of the performance testing using load runner and JMeter. Team, any query? I hope uh, whatever queries were there, I answered them all. And let me know if you have any more queries. When is the next session and what to prepare or do? Uh, next session. Uh, the team would be uh, like telling you all the participants and what to prepare. You don't need to prepare anything. Uh, right now, as I said, first of all, we would be going to the performance testing training and then the project. So you don't need to prepare anything right now. Only two protocols you are covering, yeah, web HTTP and the web service. These are the two important protocols that we mostly use for the application. What to do to be a participant? Uh, that you need to get back to the IT lens team uh, to know that, okay? Team, any more questions? Let me know if you have any questions, team. Thank you so much. I hope like 
No one has any queries right now? So we would be the next session uh, the team would be letting you know and then we would start with the next session okay and we will see what we covered in that. Thank you team for your time. Thank you so much.